All righty. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the semifinals of the Dream Hacks Last Chance 2021. In the top right, it is quite possibly the best player in the world, possibly, Serral. And in the bottom left, also the best possible player in the world, TY. I mean, you really could make a case for either of these two being the best player in the world. Um, TY did really, really extraordinarily well at all the GSLs this year. Serral crushed a lot of the Dream Hack events, and they're both just overall really excellent players. Always fun to watch them play. Um, I'm skipping the early game because there ain't too much exciting. Ain't nothing too much exciting here. Alrighty. So, Serral sees the number of Marines here. He went for fast OV speed and for fast metabolic boost. He's getting a Bailing Nest as well. Um, he should know that this is likely going to be a 2 on one uh, This Overlord here actually going to get picked off. Uncharacteristic mistake there from Serral, especially with Overlord speed. Um, TY is just trying to deny vision like an absolute madman, but Serral will finally scout and see what he needs to see, um, which is the timing of the starport. And he knows now this is going to be a two-base pressure build here from TY. He does not see the third CC here. Serral sending a, yet another Overlord out. My goodness, he really wants to have vision here. Getting a fast lair. He's got a bailing nest. He doesn't see the third CC. TY just trying to prevent Serral from scouting as much as he possibly can. No, I'll, I'll, I'll do the commentary as, as myself. I'll update the impressions for now. <sighs> Mostly because I want to... I, if I do an impression, I'm going to miss details of the game. And I really am watching this for the first time as myself. And I want to just see what happens organically. Um... So it's not actually a pressure. I was mistaken. It's actually just a macro-based bioplay. Um, <laughs> they're really trying to get the overloads out here. Getting plus one carapace. It's going to trade very well against the Marines. Okay, here comes the, the push here, finally. This hits a lot. Um, I will not do a conversation between Artosis and Serral. Uh, there's already enough interviews of that on the internet. Um, so this is a much later timing attack than a 2 one one um, but TY is still going to try to put on some pressure here. The most important thing, um, the most important thing here is that Serral saves his fourth base. Yeah. Frazimatazel, we're, we're not going to talk about this. I, we're not going to talk about this too much right now, but I didn't want to say that nothing was going to happen yet, only because he never conceded. I wanted to wait until he actually conceded and then saw what happened, but it didn't even get to that point, and it still happened, so... I appreciate you acknowledging you were wrong. I was wrong to say that it was going to happen, like, immediately. But, there you go. Anyways, um, getting back to the commentary. Uh, we have Serral with a bailing drop here coming up. And TY unable to get any pressure done at this fourth base here. His upgrades are a little bit further ahead here. He does have the double NG bay. Serral only just now finishing his second evo and starting plus on melee immediately here. So we're going into a standard uh, Ling Bane versus Bio game. And... Ooh. I swear I'm not tired. So I was just waiting for this bailing drop here. His overlord spread is pretty excellent, and his creep spread is also pretty excellent. Uh, with no bailing speed yet, TY with some excellent micro picking off the bailing there. Now, the real question here is when is, uh, when is TY going to drop his fourth CC, or is he going to just do a three base eight racks all in? TY clearing some creep here. His plus one is just now finished. So he's actually ahead in upgrades right now. Here comes the bailing drop here from Serral. TY not reacting at all. The bailings come out and they're going to kill a lot of these SCVs. Oh my goodness. 12 of them go down there. A fantastic bit of pressure there from Serral. TY trying desperately to push into this fourth base. If he can kill this fourth base, he'll be in a great position. But Serral's unit's a little bit split up here. He's going to try to circle around with some Ling Bane from the back. But will it be too late? The Hatchery's already taking a lot of damage here. Here comes the flank. The, uh, the Bailings are trying to connect with the Marines here on both sides. The tanks, unfortunately, not being surrounded here. All three tanks still shelling relentlessly. And it looks like Serral will be able to clean up two of the tanks. 
he hasn't stopped the push yet. There's still enough here, and TY is still reinforcing this with Marines Parade pushing across the map. And will TY get this base? I don't think he will. I think Cyril has just enough here to, to hold this. But TY is going to leapfrog these tanks forward here. A beautiful Ling run by counting the reinforcements here of TY trying to reinforce this push. Cyril kind of... On the back foot here, he's taking a lot of the damage here with these queens. The Satch is very close to dying here. He needs to attack right now. TY with the pickup. The Lings are going to get on top of this tank, but TY can go into the main, and he does. The Doom drop into the main, getting on top of some of the production here of Serral. Serral immediately trying to retreat here, but there's still enough reinforcements in the parade push here from TY, I think, to kill this fourth base. Serral trying to hold this with the queens, but Serral's going to lose this base. And if he loses this base, I think this game's already over. He has no fifth on the way. So, he's going to be really far behind in economy here. He lost five drones as well. TY with a masterful push here. This is just beautiful execution here from the Korean Terran. And Serral re-expanding now in the top left-hand corner. Not too much creep out there. And TY now dropping his fourth CC. TY looking in a stellar position so far in this game. Serral does technically have the upgrade lead. He's hemorrhaging so many lings to try to counter this one siege tank. And TY still has the potential to drop in the main here as well. Ooh. Don't let that yawn be an indication. This has been an excellent game so far. This has been a really excellent game so far. I'm not bored at all. I'm just tired unfortunately. All right, here comes another drop here on the left side here from Serral. The drop on the right side being attacked as well. There's two attacks going on here at the same time. TY not reacting to this one. He's trying to micro the attack on the right side and pick up his medivacs here with the potential to drop on the main. There's no spores or any sort of static defense or anti-air whatsoever for Serral. So that drop does have the potential to do some damage. Serral now moving his units up here, trying to make sure he doesn't lose that. The fourth base is about to be finished here once again for Serral in the top left-hand corner, but he's down to 66 drones. He's going to go up to 69. Nice. And TY is going to push on this creep here. Serral with no infestation pit in sight. He's going to be capped here at these plus two upgrades. And then TY has the ability to surge ahead in the upgrade game. He can actually start plus three here in just a matter of moments. The drop comes in the main. There's still a lot of valuable tech here. Serral does have enough units to push this away, but he doesn't actually have anything that can shoot down the medivacs. So that is a constant threat. Meanwhile, another push here from TY taking out the old fourth base location for Serral here once again. There's no way Serral can defend this and does cancel the base. TY now starting his plus three. He's going to be in a better and better position as this game goes on later. Even incorporating Widowbinds into this army, which do get a very nice connection there on the Lings of Serral. Serral's just having to deal with so much multi-prong all over the place. One of the most uh, definite uh, identifiers of TY's style is just being able to do all of these drops in so many places and keeping all of them very well utilized. Uh, does pick up the spawning pool here. He will lose a, quite a bit of bio here, but picking up the spawning pool is well worth it. Serral unable to build lings, queens, or banes during this. Well, actually, he can still build banes from the lings that he currently has, but building new lings is just not in the cards, which means the only defending units he can build here are hydras. Uh, Serral has not rebuilt the spawning pool. I think he's going to try to go all in from here. I don't think he feels like he has much economic counterplay in this game. I think he's just going to try to go in here and not even rebuild the spawning pool. He's going to get a really nice wrap around here, but he does rebuild the spawning pool now. It takes a nice engagement there in the center of the map. He still has a pretty huge and massive mainly count, and he will push through the center here. There are... There's really not that much here at home from TY. I'm actually very surprised. Serral should keep pushing here. Absolutely. He doesn't really have much of a choice. There's a lot of units from Ser Oh my god, the Hydra deck goes down as well. Serral can produce literally no attacking units right now. He has to win the game with this army right here, right now. It looks like he is going to get on top of some of these SCVs. He's trying to get to the ones in the back. Beautiful connections here. He gets the bunker as well. Serral getting attacked here from all sides from the reinforcements of TY. TY is down in supply. If Serral can make this push work, he can win the game. But it is unlikely that he's going to be able to keep up with the relentless attacks here from TY. Keep in mind that TY did float the third orbital. He still maintained all the SCVs. He's actually sending the SCVs to attack the fourth base here from Serral. What the hell am I looking at? This is quite the meme and quite the dream. And it looks like Serral's reinforcements will be able to pick off these SCVs here. I have no idea what that was all about. But uh, TY is down to 40 SCVs. The spawning pool... Oh my god, did Serral not rebuild his pool? No, he's building a second... He's re-rebuilding his spawning pool. That must have been an error. I must have, He must have thought that he didn't have it, but he he's building lings right now. He should know that he has it. I don't know why he's... Okay, he canceled it. Oh, he meant to build a Hydra Den. Okay, so he's rebuilding the Hydra Den now. Uh, and Serral is back in this game. He's got so many freaking Hydras here. TY is down to 48 SCVs. 
I, I, inexplicably, Serral just took some really excellent engagements here and is suddenly back in this game. He's at 71 drones. He has a fourth base. If he just gets an infestation pit, like, he'll be in a great spot. He has six bases. Oh, no, he's five bases. Excuse me. I can't believe that Serral did all this on the back foot. This is some phenomenal recovery skills here from Serral. Looks like he's going to pick off a couple of Marines here in the center of the map. And TY now has to try to take a fifth base against a Serral with excellent map vision and units all over this map. And that's going to be very difficult to do indeed. Serral pulling back here against this drop that he knows that he can't win the engagement for. Uh, it looks like he's building another spawning pool here. The drop in the main here from TY is still doing some incredibly relentless pressure. And the pool will not be going down. And TY getting a little bit overextended here does have a beautiful pickup on that bio there. But will lose everything in the main. And now Serral's on the... On the on the regroup here and ty is just losing a lot of units now ty does have a pretty scary army supply here Serral needs all of his units here in order to be able to take this fight the hydras are very exposed here they're taking a lot of damage here against these marauders the marauders not quite able to kill all this and Serral just has too many hydralisks and will save his extremely important fifth base here in the center left both players mackering their hearts out keep in mind ty does have an extraordinary upgrade advantage so ty is just going to make it rain mules and try to get as many units out here as he can. No 5th CC on the way. Neither player really interested in transitioning. They're just going to try to win the game with the tech that they have. And they are each just making as many units as they possibly can. And here comes a flank here from Serral. This is a lot of units from both sides. Not that many Banelings in this already, but it doesn't matter. There's only two Siege tanks. The Hydra's getting on top of a lot of this here. The Banelings trying to get to the bio in the back. There's a third Siege tank here from TY. And I think that Serral will win this engagement just barely. I think he has the Hydra count to potentially do this. More Banelings coming in from the back here a little bit late to this engagement. TY desperately trying to take this fifth base here. This is actually his main orbital that he's floated out here. Serral cannot afford to let this base mine. He will kill the base and the Hydras are getting decimated here. This is a very costly trade here from both sides, but ultimately favoring Serral as he killed the main CC. TY is actually floating his natural orbital to that fifth base. Oh my goodness. This is quite the game we've got in our hands. Serral blocking most of the expansions here with the exception of the center left with creep, forcing TY to take this center left expansion. And Serral, I think he's got this. I think he's going to take this. The economy is very much in his favor. Um, the upgrades are very much in TY's. But if Serral could just keep doing this relentless economic pressure, he actually gets the links here in the natural, gets a surround on this tank. Having adrenaline lands, having a hive would be really, really excellent here for Serral. He doesn't even plus three. Just have Adrenal Lands alone would make him win this game. Straight up. TY desperately trying to mine here from this center left base. He has floated his natural orbital to get down here, which Serral actually probably scouted with the counterattack he just did with the Lings. He should know that TY is completely starving here at 48 SCVs. He is building every single fighting unit that he can. And all Serral has to do is hold and do a couple of nice backstabs here. Here comes another one. The Lings getting into the natural here. The supply depots are down the whole way through. Serral scouts. The natural has been lifted. A couple of SCVs dying here in the exchange. And if the Lings get on top of the production, this is actually very devastating here for TY. Why? Meanwhile, another force set up here from Serral attacking the new fifth base here of TY. The Bailings trying to crash down on top of all of this. The Hydras as well. And the Bailings getting on top of a lot of this bio, including the SCVs and TY GGs. Oh my goodness. What a recovery from Serral. I thought Serral was completely out of that game. You can even see the smile of relief across his face. Unbelievable play there from Serral. I cannot believe he pulled that back. That was absolutely insane. Goodness gracious. Alrighty. We do have Serral once again going for this fast overlord speed here. And we have TY going for Hellion Banshee this game. He's got a modest amount of Hellion Reaper here. And Serral's just trying to spread his creep. Pretty normal here for the early game. And this is such incredible mind game right here. He's actually going to kill this Overlord and then he's going to cancel Cloak. Is he? Yeah, he's going to cancel Cloak. He's swapping the factory onto the tech lab here. This should be a bio transition. He's going to use this Viking to try to deny the vision here. Oh God, Serral might actually see it. Will he see it? He sees the swap. Oh no, the mind gamery from TY does not work. He sees the bio transition. 
Cyril no longer has to worry about a cloak banshee. Yo, my man. Sodafpreev. I have no idea how to pronounce your name, but thank you very much for the follow. Hope you're enjoying the commentary. We now have a lair on the way here from Cyril as well as a bailing nest. He's just going to drone up and get as many as he can. Um, I think his overlord scouted the third CC. He should be taking a fourth. There it is. Um, right about now. Uh, taking the fourth base in the bottom center. This is not the place that ter that Zergs usually expand because it's harder to get the creep down out here. But he does actually have some pretty decent creep spread around this fourth base as well. Um, and so both players just mackering to their heart's content. Looks like the upgrades here from TY are going to start slightly faster than the upgrades here from Serral. Um, but bailing speed is pretty far on the way already for the five and a half minute mark. So... I'm, I'm, I'm liking this for Serral here so far. And with a 66 drone count here. SOTF Priv. It's fine. Happens all the time. Fair enough. I appreciate you correcting me. Let me know if I still didn't get it right. SOTF Priv. Um, all right. So we have the Overseer really just checking to see if there's a 4th CC or any other crazy switches here from TY. There is not. He sees the stem. He sees everything. Um, and it looks like both players just back right now. So we're going to take a Hydra Den now. I'd love to see him drop a macro hatch pretty soon. Um, both players playing very passive this game. Very, very passive. Um, which against a Zerg is not something that you really want to do as TY. Because Serral, if, if Serral's left to his own devices, he can just get creep over half the map. And then just have 80 drones and kill you pretty quickly. Um, we do see that speed overseer coming in here now. Trying to scout anything else relevant. He has a link here that's going to see this move out here. Very nicely done here from Serral. He has some banelings in this army. He now knows to make a few more. And it looks like... It looks like Serral should be in decent shape here. He's slightly behind in army supply, but he has really excellent creep, creep spread. Serral actually going for... I don't know if this is a flank or if this is a ling run by. I think it's a flank. I think Serral wants TY to push slightly further on creep here. Which will not happen. Both players plus one about to finish here. We're going to see who maintains the upgrade lead here in a moment. And Serral just trying desperately to respread the creep. Now, this is a beautiful siege position here from TY. The tanks on this higher ground are extremely difficult to deal with as a Zerg. And it looks like the Marine's going to come forward here now, possibly pick off a queen or two. And Serral's flank set up here now. I don't know if he should really attack this. Uh, this is a lot. He's going to try. There's three tanks on the high ground. Now, there's a fourth one that's not sieged. The Bailing's trying to connect on some of this bio and actually gets some really excellent connections. The Hydra's getting on top of the tanks. And TY's push completely decimated here as Serral recaptures this high ground. We'll spread creep here in just a moment. He's a little bit behind on upgrades. He doesn't have the gas, but he's still in an excellent position. He's taking the center right base, and he's actually trading more efficiently than TY, of all people, which is just insane. Just completely insane. Serral going up to over 80 drones now. And this is looking... This is looking really good here for Serral. The fourth CC has not... It's just started now for TY, which is really, really bad. Because Serral's fifth base is almost halfway done. He is also getting a macro hatch behind this as well. And the infestation pick coming down here from Serral much at, at a time that actually makes sense compared to the last game. The tank on the high ground will uh, deter these links here for a moment. I felt like he probably could have gotten a little bit more damage done, but it better to play it safe than sorry. Um, looks like a counter drop here from TY. Going to try to clear some creep up here on the top side. Finally getting some counter pressure in here. And going to try to get on top of this base as well. There are links here to deal with this. This won't do too much. Um, I got to say, for how passive TY's played this game overall, the creep spread is actually pretty subdued here honestly from Serral like it's good but it's nowhere near as good as it could be with, with how well Serral can spread the creep um now we have the hive coming in here from Serral now this is gonna be this is gonna lead us into some really really excellent late game ZBT here um and I'm very curious to see what TY is gonna do is he gonna go for ghosts is he gonna go for liberators um, is Serral going to go for Ultras, Brood Lords? Like, there's a lot of options here. Um, so the Hive is getting pretty close to being done here. I say that as it's halfway done, because I clearly know how to estimate time durations. Um, and TY is going to try to secure this fourth base here on the center left. Now, Serral, with this army supply, he has the potential to just stop TY from getting there. Um, he has a lot of units here in the top right, trying to hold his sixth base here. 
And Serral actually, oh my god, if he can scout this drop, that would be massive. The Hydras do actually scout it. He might be able to kill one of these. He accidentally shoots one of his own Banelings there. A little bit of mouse precision bull heckery there from Serral. And TY will be able to circle back around. I think that Serral's going to try to keep some Hydras here on the lower side to prevent that from just swooping right by. Um, and Serral, he needs to get on top of this fourth base. There's nothing defending it. I don't know why Serral's playing so passive. He needs to go attack this fourth base right now. I think he suspects that there's like siege tanks there, but there really isn't. TY's army moving out on the map. Serral missing all of this. And the Liberator's going to come out here as well. Uh, he does attack this fourth base now, which is completely defenseless here. The Hydras will absolutely kill this fourth base, but the counterattack from TY could potentially do a lot of serious damage here. There's several tanks in this army, a lot of bio units, and Serral, he's getting an ultra counter, he's getting a jungle lens. I don't know why he's getting plus one range. I think he should just get plus three all around. Serral's 3,000 minerals banked up behind this. He's on an 86 drone economy. It looks like he's going to try to flank this. There are a lot of siege tanks in this army, but he is very deep on the creep. And I think that the engagement will definitely favor Serral here. Keep in mind that there's also the drop here from TY that never really did any damage earlier as well. TY going to relocate to this high ground. He's only two siege tanks left. I don't know if he lost some or if I'm just very bad at counting siege tanks, but I thought he had more than that. Um, it looks like Serral, with this Ling run by here, is going to prevent this Marine counterattack from doing that much. Here comes the big engagement on the top side. I think the Banelings actually killed all the bio on the bottom side there, um, which is a really nice um, tactic and pickup there from Serral, trying to split TY's attention. And now Serral has free reign to go attack this fourth base once again. The Planetary is about to finish, so I think that he will be deterred here, and he will. Just barely finishing in time here. So getting plus three carapace now. He's getting some vipers in this army as well. Really good to deal with those siege tanks. And Serral is just getting bigger and bigger as time goes on. He's taken almost this entire half of the map. TY still has three bases on his side of the map that he has yet to secure. And we do see now the Ghost Academy coming down. We do see more factories as well for the potential mech switch. Uh, looks like a little bit of latency here. It's interesting seeing the players react to this lag. Like, they're going at 15 million miles an hour, and then that happens, and they're just like... <sighs> Alright. So we're back in. And it looks like Serral gonna go for plus two range over plus three melee. Again, I don't really like this. Yes, this is nice for a lurker transition. But it doesn't look like there's a lurker transition on the way. Serral's not mining that much gas. So I don't really see the point of this. They can be much better to get plus two melee. Here comes the Banelings into the fourth base. He's going to get on top of a lot of these SCVs. Kill the planetaries. Inexplicably, only three SCVs died from that. I thought way more were going to die. The Vipers here from Serral are going to try to drop some blinding clouds down on these tanks. Or potentially just abduct them to the low ground. Which is what he does. The Banelings rolling forward here. They're going to crash into a lot of these Marines. The splits from TY are extraordinary. But that's still just way too much here from Serral. And TY will lose a pretty sizable chunk of his army and once again losing his fourth base is a really really huge deal Serral with 5,000 minerals and 1600 gas in the bank he's at a 90 drone economy he can build these units all day long TY trying to re-expand here to the top setter and there are links here to potentially block the CC from landing TY is going to try to get some more counter pressure done here on the bottom right but I just or the bottom left excuse me but I don't I don't see how that's going to work at all Serral has so much vision on this map the CC will land on the top uh, center, but these three legs will get picked off here by the Marines before they get too much economic damage done. And Serral's just continuing to build mass Ling Main Hydra. He does get the Lurker Den here. Um, he has an Ultra Cavern. He has fully upgraded Ultralisks with no plus three melee. Uh, Blinding Cloud going down on top of these two tanks here. And the Hydras will be able to pick them off. TY forced to pick up and evacuate here. But there is a pretty huge counter push coming up here from TY with three tanks. No Vipers here from Serral. And these tanks are going to siege up on this high ground and siege this very important base here from Serral. Which Serral will absolutely lose. Uh, nice pick up there from TY. But meanwhile, Serral is counterattacking on the bottom uh, left here. And will potentially kill this fourth base here from TY. There's actually not that much. And this CC is not an orbital. These Hydras just have completely free reign. The Banelings actually being split the wrong way here. And it looks like a very, oh no, a very inefficient trade there from Serral. Crashing a lot of those mains onto an armored siege tank. And Serral will be attacking this base here. TY pulling the SCVs immediately. And Serral inexplicably not picking off the base. He is to do so now um the hydras should be able to kill this okay there's 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 a laugh here there's enough here for ty to um save this temporarily ultras on the way plus three all around on the way here from serral so he has he's going to have fully upgraded lurkers and fully upgraded ultralisks 
I think T I think Cyril should win this game. Assuming that each player maintains their current level of execution with their armies, Cyril should win this game. But this is still TY we're talking about, and TY is a really excellent player. He is a really excellent player, and we cannot count him out yet. Um, TY just needs to hold on to his exterior expansions. I would, I feel like he needs sensor towers of those expansions. He needs a bigger siege tank line. Um, and then TY needs to find some type of counter pressure simultaneously. It's very difficult to do, but that is what he has to do here. The siege tank's getting on top of a lot of these bailings. Oh no. Serral with a very cost and efficient trade. He didn't realize the siege tank spread before he took that fight. Meanwhile, the counterattack on the bottom right. There are siege tanks here as well. The bailings crashing on top of a lot of these SCVs and do kill this expansion as well. And yeah, if Serral could just keep trading these units and killing TY's economy more and more over time, eventually they're going to have a big fight and Serral's going to have the money to remax and TY simply will not. So this is, I think this is a great idea here from Serral to just keep attacking into these bases. But can he keep doing this without losing too, too much here? Uh, Serral cannot really attack into this without Vipers. There's so many siege tanks here. But yeah, I think if Serral just keeps attacking the bottom left here, I think he'll be in an excellent position. Serral taking as much of the map as he can. He's actually taking one of the bases on TY's side of the map as well, and he's teching towards Spire. I love this. Serral's just getting every tech option av available to him at this point. Um, and Serral gonna push in here. There's ghosts and siege tanks as well. The Bailing's crashing on top of a lot of this... A lot of these siege tanks, there's so many ultralists in this army though, it doesn't even matter. Serral relentlessly pushing through here. The Vipers, Blinding Clouds have been doing a lot here as well. And the top base from TY is completely dead here. Like there's there's lings that are killing all the SCVs at it. He's lost 12 SCVs during this attack. He actually loses the CC as well. And this is a disastrous trade here from TY. Serral instantly remaxing with 62 lings. He has 3,000 gas in the bank. He can just build mass bailings here. And just kill this army. He can also take in the lurkers as well. This bailing's gonna crash on top of the rest of this bio. GG! TY down two to zero against the former world champion, the finished phenom, the Night King himself. Oh my goodness. What excellent games. All right, we have a very aggressive play here out of Serral. He's a late hatchery. He's got a fast link speed. He's only at 20 drones right now. And he's just going to do a really nice link pressure here. He's at 10 army supply already. And Serral... Oh, TY actually potentially scouting these links here with this Marine. I think TY needs to just drop a bunker immediately and prevent these links from getting this around here. There's only four Marines here. I think four Marines can kill this. The speed here, a little bit late here for Serral. Can these four Marines do it? The, the micro from TY is excellent, but no. Serral with the beautiful surround here does kill these four Marines. He's not able to get in the main, and the Hellions will be able to chase this away. This is actually a great commentary. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, I want to do this more often, but I always am just like, there's already so many great commentators out there. I just don't feel like I'd stand out, and I have no idea how to publish this or make it bigger. So, I don't know. But I appreciate your words, my friend. Um, the other problem is that I can only do commentary on Zerg matchups because I only play Zerg. Um, and like if a PvP is going on, I have absolutely no idea what the players are doing or what the standard matchup looks like and things like that. But I really appreciate that you're enjoying the commentary. Alright, so we have... If Serral pulling back here, he, he really needs to keep the Overlord there, I think, and scout what's happening with the tech lab there. A Raven coming out here from TY. Okay, this is something we've seen a little bit w recently from uh, higher level uh, Terrans, which I find very interesting, is that they build a Raven so that they don't have to scan for creep and they can drop auto turrets, um, which is really, really um, cool. I also like the Evo, the temporary Evo wall there from Serral. It's fine, so you can do Zerg matchups. It's really entertaining. Excellent. I'm very glad to hear that. Very glad to hear that. So we do have the Raven coming out now, and again, this is a beautiful creep clearing tool as well as with auto turret harass. We've seen it um, recently from Maru and Bian, and it's just, it's an interesting bit of counterplay here in the matchup. And now that Serral scouted the medevac, he knows that the Hellion drop is potentially um, able to be done here, and he just has the links patrolling in his main. Now keep in mind that if there's an army that goes down behind this, he can just do a Hellbat push with the medevac as well. Uh, Serral currently building a bunch of spores here. Um, I think Serral thinks it's a BC because there's no upgrade on the tech lab and BCs are usually what happens here, but there's no fusion core 
Or at least he hasn't scouted a fusion core. And I mean, this could be a lot. Oh my god, TY is such a mad lad. He's gonna send an empty medevac into the base of Serral to draw all of the units out of position. And then he's gonna take the rest of the Hellions and go in here. The three queens actually doing a lot of damage here. Serral's gonna retreat back to the natural here with his units. There's mainlings in place. And this is just not working here at all. Okay, the Raven coming in here now with the auto turret. Serral immediately pulls the drones. The queen on the low ground gonna prevent him from dropping one in the natural as well. And he does sacrifice some links here to kill this auto turret, which is absolutely what he should be doing because it's it's way worth it to lose a couple links to not lose the drones and kill the auto turret ever so slightly faster. Serral going for Spire behind this. Oh, interesting. All right, so here comes the next push here from TY. Again, using that Raven to clear creep. This is such a beautiful adaptation here. Uh, Serral trying to get on top of this Raven will ultimately be unable to do it. It will actually lose a queen here. One of, oh, beautiful transfuse. Um, and another, there's two Ravens on the map now. There's one that's with the Hellions clearing creep. And there's one that's in the natural trying to kill drones. Uh, the Spire being built in a very abnormal adjunct position to make it harder for TY to scout. And that's also working wonders here. What up, Dr. Bugs? Good to see you, buddy. Now, this is all well and good for both players, but Serral has no fourth base, and that's the only thing that I'm slightly worried about for him. He is getting Evos. He is getting a very fast Spire. Um, if he could just pop out, you know, 10 meters and go across the map and do some economic damage, that would be lovely. But he has no fourth base, and being able to consistently pump out that econo that uh, Mutalisk uh, army off that economy is very difficult. I love this Overlord dropping creep for Serral to just get the creep spread a little bit further out. Like, that's just... That's just really smart. I like that. That's really, really smart. I wonder if there are Zergs that, like, preemptively put their Overlords at a point in the game that once they know they have a lair, they can drop creep there and just spread faster. All right, so we do have this push coming out here now. Serral's queens. Oh, they're all getting caught off of creep. He's going to lose all three of these queens. That's actually a disastrous blow here. And with the Raven to boot, he doesn't even have to scan to kill these tumors. Bailing speed not quite done here. Serral needs to hold his base. The auto turret's a beautiful touch here from TY. And Serral, unable to take a fourth base here. His bailing speed just wasn't quite ready. And he's pushing forward here and clearing so much of this creep. That's insane. Oh, fair enough. I'm glad it works for you. Glad it works for you. I, I can see it was done back in the Heart of the Storm days, but I didn't play in Heart of the Storm because I was lame. Is this right now or is this a rerun? This is a rerun. This was played earlier today, I believe. This was played earlier today, about 12 hours ago. But it's still an excellent match. Excellent match. Yo, Stamen223, thank you very much for the follow. Very much appreciate it, my friend. Hope you're enjoying the commentary. Um, so we do have the Minas coming out here from Serral. Now, TY did scout it. He is building missile turrets here. Oh, oh man yeah. brave, my man. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Love you, buddy. Much love. Thanks for the support. It may have been Heart of the Storm. May have been Wings of Liberty. Creep tumors could have been placed on ramps so that you need a vision up the ramp. Oh, well, that's stupid. Um... Okay, so Sam's coming in with the Midas now. TY's army is completely out of position here, but I think that this this shouldn't do too much, right? There's missile turrets here. The Lings actually are a beautiful touch in this. He's going to pick up this siege take a lot of this bio as well. The Lings going to get on top of the natural mineral line. TY is turning around. He knows he needs to save a lot of this economy here, and the Lings are just going to get on top of all of these SCVs. He doesn't even need the Midas for the harass. If he can take out this tech lab actually on the factory, that would be huge because he'd be able to deny uh, drilling claws here. He will not be able to do it, but he's picking off a lot of these add-ons here in the main Serral with a beautiful counterattack here, forcing all of TY's units to come out of here. And Serral's up to five bases now. He just secured his fifth base. And now he's just gonna drone up and have the whole map with creep. And this is wonderful. Love you too, man. This commentary is great. Thank you, man, Brave. I've tried the OB front running, but I lack the mechanics. I use Neuro's poop to ban its gimmick a lot. Yes. That's wonderful. I, I love that trick. I need to use that myself. Okay, so TY has a fourth CC here. This definitely still favors Serral. The 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 biggest thing here for Serral, though, he needs to get his creep spread back after losing all of those creep queens. He is rebuilding a couple right now, um, but he he just needs to keep respreading this creep. He can't let TY go across the map. Mutas are very fragile. There's Thors being made. There's tunneling claws or drilling claws mines being made as well, and this is. 
This is just like, he needs to keep TY at home. If he keeps TY busy, he wins this game because he could just outgrow him. Um, there are already two turrets here at this base. Serral with the Mutas coming in now. He will pick off the turret that's being made here. Will TY get the fast repair? He does not. Can he get the fast repair on this turret as well? No. Serral's micro, absolutely extraordinary. Picking off all three turrets. He's now going to transfer over to the natural. Oh my God, these upgrades. These upgrades are completely exposed. TY, he needs to keep these engine bays alive and he will with the four. And he has the bio in the main as well. Oh no, Serral. Oh my God. I've done that so many times where you just auto rally your mutas and you just accidentally go through an entire clump of bio and lose all of your mutalisks. It's so painful. Uh, Serral's setting up three different attacks here now. He's going to try to take the attack that's at the third base here. There's a lot of units here from TY. He cannot engage into this at all. And the mutas are trapped here. I mean, he's got the Thor turret um, coverage here. Serral pulling out here now, but the, there's another attack here at the fourth base, getting a beautiful surround. He gets on top of some of these SCDs as well. Nine SCDs go down. He's going to get the planetary. And this is looking really disastrous here from TY. The mutas actually escape here as well. TY supply blocks now at 186. He does have the upgrade advantage. Oh no, Serral losing a pretty huge chunk of his mutas right there. And TY just has to push across right now. He needs to find a way to end this game. He cannot afford to keep up with the macro engine. That is Serral at 90 drones here. And TY is going to push on top of this very important base, but Serral re-expanding towards the center left. Again, Serral with very little creep spread. It's going to be actually very difficult to engage this without that, but there's a beautiful two sets of anti-armor missiles that go down on all these bailings, and Serral, he has to give up the base. He does. He transfers down to the center left. He actually keeps every single drone alive. Losing this base is, it does suck, but it's not particularly consequential. He does have another place that he can transition to. Serral coming across the map here with his units here, trying to get on top of the fourth base here of TY. This mine going to burrow here, but the mutas do see it and pull back. He's going to deny this base once again. TY just getting into a more economically dense, uh, desperate position here. And Serral is just in complete control of this game. He's at 92 drones. He's completely maxed out. He's getting a hive behind this. And this is just looking really, really excellent here for Serral. The finished phenom, the Night King. TY going to try to expand towards the center right here now. But Serral's map control is just pretty outstanding. Even with, again, very little creep spread. It looks like he's going to try to spread a couple tumors here on the center right here. But Serral is just not letting TY push across this map. Or if he does, he backstabs him and gets the economic advantage. However, TY is maxed now. He is maxed and he has a really scary army. I mean, this is a 140 army supply of Terran Bio with Thors and Widomines against a Zerg player that has a lot of mutas in his army. Like, TY can still win this game. Absolutely. Oh my god, he's burrowing banelings. I want to see some burrow baneling traps. I want to see some burrow baneling traps. I want to see some burrow baneling traps. All right, so here comes one burrow baneling trap. Will he actually deploy it? It is unclear. The bio stepping not quite optimally on top of it. Uh, the drilling claws mine's going off here. And the... This push here from TY, not able to do too much. B beautiful splits on the Banelings here, trying to deny the Winamine um, splash there from Serral. He's going to bring the Mutas over here as well. There are two Thors in this army, though. And this is going to be really difficult to engage here. Serral's going to pull the trigger. The Winamine shot's coming through here, not actually connecting on a lot of these Banelings here until one does very finally there at the end. But Serral cleans up both the Thors, all the Winamines, and secures this very important base. Meanwhile, at the top center, Serral with a bunch of Banelings here, but a bunch of bio from TY, and these Banelings just not able to connect here. He's going to try once again. The splits here from TY are pretty outstanding, but there's still so much, and he was a little bit late to pull back. Serral inexplicably saves this top center base that I condemned a while back, and Serral's getting his plus three behind it. He's getting a Jungle Lands. He just needs an Ultra Cavern, and he's set. Or maybe he already even built it. Okay, he's starting it now. Um, Serral can't quite push into this base now, but he does have a lot of money behind this. He's building more meters, more lanes, more drones. He is trying to maintain his current macro production. I'm amazed he's not maxed out right now. I guess he doesn't have the Larva for it. Okay, he's maxing out more now with links. But oh my goodness. Here comes the push here from TY. He will take out this very important base here from Serral. It's one of his freshest mining bases. He's going to cancel these banelings as well. He knows that he can't actually fight this with what he has. And Serral's drones are actually trapped here. TY has the potential to pick up a lot of mining here by killing these drones. Serral's going to try to sneak them out right here, right now. And actually, we'll get almost all of them out. Meanwhile, a counterattack here from Serral. He gets on top of two drilling claws, Burrow, uh, Widow Mines. And he's going to take these mutas and get on the... Oh my god, he's not actually boxing over the Thor. He's not boxing over the Thor. He's actually going to lose a lot of these mutas. This is a very costly attack here from Serral. Oh my god. He just lost so many mutalists so to these Widowmines. 
Oh my god, TY with the counter push is actually making it happen. He's up 30 army supply. The Ultras are starting production right now from Serral, but they are just not ready. And there's a lot of Marauders in this army already. Concussive Shell's almost done here as well. Doesn't matter too much with the Ultralisks, but this is still a lot here. So I'm going to pick off these Widow Mines. So I was going to try to expand to the Rich Gas base that's in the bottom left center. But TY is going to be able to take this fourth base, or fifth base, excuse me, down here. And all of a sudden, this is looking pretty good here for Serral. Or, pretty good here for TY. Excuse me. This Burrowdling here being a nuisance here. From Serral. TY is slightly delayed in landing that base. Now, keep in mind, there are still... There's still quite a few Mitas on this map. Serral could take the Mitas and go down to the bottom center. Oh my god, the Widow Mines! Oh, they hurt my Zerg soul! He's trying to bait all of them out. There is still one that's not quite dead. And Serral, these Ultras don't have Anabolic Synthesis, so they can't really move that fast. So I was going to try for a counterattack down here. Keep in mind, this is outside the, the vision range of the Sensor Tower. Looks like Serral's going to come out here now. He picks up one of the Widow Mines immediately, but TY, a little bit late on the stem, he kills all the Widow Mines with the splash damage on the main leagues and immediately pulls back. Excellent decision making here from Serral. Yeah, I think Creep is an excellent mechanic. I think the Queen is just one of the best things of StarCraft 2 that improves from StarCraft 1. Because now there's actually a reason for Zerg to use Creep. I, I, I agree. I think it's a beautiful mechanic. All right, so TY is going to push in here on this fresh space here from Cell. He actually has another attack that's going up on the center right as well. These Ultras awkwardly stumbling around here. And can TY get this base? I don't think he can straight off the top. But there's only Ultra Bane in this. There's actually nothing that really counters these Marauders. Meanwhile, Serral attacking off creep into these Siege Tank Marauder squads. And there are a lot of Mutas in this army. TY's army very exposed here. The Muta's not actually getting on top of the Metamax, though. This is a horrible, a horrible miscalculation here from Serral. He needed those Mutas to be in that engagement, but they weren't. And now this Ultralisk will be able to save this base. But Serral could have killed so much more there if he had just micro that a little bit better. Is that a Burrow Baneling there? That's two Burrow Banelings there. Uh, the Raven comes, and so he's actually able to dissect it. Okay, Serral needs to save this base. He does only has a bunch of links here. He's going to try to just get on top of as much of this Terran force as possible. The Widow Mines go off on top of a lot of these links, and while the Marauders do survive, there's not that much left, and Serral will be able to clean this up with what he has. This is just such a razor's edge engagement here. Meanwhile, another bio counterattack here from TY in the top center, killing that base once again, but the Bailings here are going to crash into this planetary, kill quite a few of these SCVs, and Serral pulls away. Meanwhile, this Bio Force still pushing through here, killing another base of Serral. This is so insane. Both of these players just playing absolutely out of their mind. Fantastic StarCraft here. It's going to come down to like a really huge engagement, and I don't think either player is going to have really the money to remax. Serral getting a little bit adventurous here, jumping on top of all this. There's a lot of Marines in these medevacs, though. He really wants to kill those medevacs, and I, and I hear him. Okay, it looks like TY's going to take out this base as well. Serral's actually running out of bases here. He does have a little bit of money in the bank, and he is maxed out, but he is running out of bases to take. He needs to maintain a base. He needs to keep the creep spread up, and he needs to hold a base because now he's actually at only four mining bases. TY actually has more mining bases than Serral does right now. So re-expanding to the top center. He needs to get the base in the top center right. He does pick that up right now. But this is a lot here from TY. The Widow Mines here getting some pretty excellent connections here on the Bailings here. So far, there's a lot of Ultralists in this army. And the Ghost Count here from TY is just not very high. But there are a lot of Marauders. Serral's attacking off creep with this many Ultras and very little else to support it. TY is losing a lot of his units. But Serral has a lot of very bruised and battered Ultras. He's going to pick off a couple more here. And more Lings on the way here from Serral. The army supplies are very close. The supplies in general are extremely close. 166 to 165. Serral's going to push it once again. He's got a lot of Bailings in this army here. They're crashing into a lot of these Marauders. Not trading particularly efficiently. But Serral, I think, just has a little too much. And with the Mutas here, he's going to get on top of some of these Metamax here as well. TY's army being pulled back here. But there's only three Ultras and they're all so low on HP. The Widow Mines, they burrow. They force this pullback here from Serral. And oh my god. I thought the game was going to be dead right there, but Jesus Christ, TY, like a mad lad, just barely lives, as do the Ultralisks of Serral, which I thought were absolutely dead after that engagement. That's actually a misplaced uh, CC there from TY. Holy crap. Are you going to cast the other games too? I'll cast um, a couple of them. Only one or two more. 
Uh, these one of mine's here from Sarah, uh, uh, from Ty burrowing here, Kelly off quite a few banelings. I mean, that ain't nothing. That's 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 nice damage to be done there. Epic game. I was about to check the vods, and I noticed you were casting it anyways. Excellent. I would have it no other way. Oh my god, Sarah's micro is just absolutely insane. I love him. I love him so much. All right, he's gonna come in with the Mutalisk here. He's actually gonna pick off one of these missile turrets. He gets the wood of mine, and now it, it, it forces. TY's SCVs to be in a very awkward position where he either has to repair the turret or he has to repair the planetary. But Serral's just going to kill the planetary with the mutas here. Now, Serral, this is one of his only mining bases here. He does have the base in the top right, though, which is very nice to be able to transfer drones to and from. Uh, Serral coming in here now with the ultras. There's more widow mines in this army. Serral's going to give up the space. I think that's the right call. Yeah, I think I think that creep is just such a beautiful dynamic in StarCraft 2. I, I, I completely agree with all of your observations. So Sarah will lose this base. The supplies are still neck and neck here. And God, I I really don't know who's gonna win this game. I wanna say that Sarah's still in a better position, but honestly, TY's TY's in a good spot. He still has he still has mining bases here, and he's just secured the bottom center left, which is absolutely huge. Hang on, I'm gonna back up here real quick. Did Serral just cancel plus two air carapace? Yes, he did. That's interesting. I don't know why he did that. Is he gonna go Greater Spire? I wanted to make sure that I wasn't seeing that wrong. Um, TY's army getting caught off guard here and losing a lot of this bio unnecessarily. A beautiful pickoff here from Serral. Um, and there's honestly not that much here at this base to defend. He probably could just come in and take this, yeah? There's like one missile turret. And that's about it. TY gonna push on the center left here. And oh my god! TY getting a little bit overtaxed here with his APM and losing a lot here. 14 SCVs go down here. He's just not quite able to win either engagement convincingly here. The Bailing's gonna crash forward on top of this bio. I think Serral might have broken TY here. He's gonna get this orbital. Right? No. Does he drop a mule and save that? Okay, no. Okay. Without that base, the chances here for TY dropping quite a bit here. I mean, yeah, there wasn't that much money left in that base, but that's still an orbital. He could have floated to the center right. That's a lot there for TY to lose. Terrell with a actually relatively decent bank here. He's got a thousand minerals. He can build a lot of um, Zerglings by this. <coughs> Bless me. And um, TY not quite paying attention here on the center left. Going to lose quite a bit of this. He does have a pretty high amount of ghosts in this army, and he's still trading extremely efficiently here. This army, actually, from TY, looks really deadly. I don't know how Serral kills this one. He has, oh my god, the Infester from the burrow in the back with the fungal growth catching all of these ghosts. And Serral, with an extraordinary engagement, cleans up this entire army. And I think that should be the game. Oh my god, that's a lot of bio from TY suddenly coming out from the back there, I will say. But there's not that many Marauders left in this army. It's mostly Ultralisk. And the Ultralisk on the bottom center killing so many of these very important SCVs that TY cannot afford to lose. He's trying to kite them right now. But these Ultralisks have been standing like a rock the whole game. And Serral should be able to take this. 16 SCVs is going down. TY is down to 16 SCVs. He cannot win this game. GG is called. And Serral, 3 O's, arguably the best Korean Terran. Oh my god, yeah, let's rewatch this fungal. This was beautiful. There's the investor right there. Oh my god, he hits so much of that bio. Wow. Good god, Serral is just so incredible. And, and let's be clear, like, obviously both of these players are really excellent, but really, to 3-0 someone like TY is just out of this goddamn world. Like, that's just so incredible.